Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Charles Young. Hey, follow me on OpenThoughts.com. That's Open T H O T S dot com. Um, check out my new uh, Health for Wealth page. Uh, it's got a lot of good information. I'll keep uploading on there so people can get some quick, fast tips about certain things, certain objects, real quick, fast. Um, nothing too much unless you want to read the articles. All you got to do is just to click away. So, what I want to jump into real quickly is um, I want to talk about this real quickly. Um, I'm looking at society and how everybody's saying that it's just going to shamble and it's just it's just becoming terrible. Yeah, um, life is not as what we know it anymore. And I think that's a lie because the worse society gets, the better it gets as well. A lot of the time people think that, oh, everything's going bad. Well, in the recession, a lot of people actually were able to buy homes. People were actually able to get homes, affordable homes. So it actually was a benefit to certain individuals who understood how to play the game. People were still making profits in a recession. So even with that negative aspect going on, we still got some uh, positive outcomes that come out of it. And the main thing I really want to talk about is the fact of how gas prices are going up. You know, you got laws being broken, constitutional rights being messed up. You can't get certain objects. Objects are, certain objects are still not available to us. Well, what, what the, the higher ups don't really understand is that the more they try to put restrictions on individuals, the more creative that puts out, that puts people. And when you're making people um, um, trying to lock them in a situation where they cannot grow, they'll grow anyway. They'll grow around you. They're just like a tree. You know, you can put a put a situation in front of a tree and it, it may it may grow over it. If it's smart enough, it will grow over it. So just like us, people you know, look at these situations. Um I've seen, you know, I've read books about certain situations where they, they try to limit uh, uh, um, cars only to gas and they already had electronic cars they already had cars running on water people start getting cr creative um, I heard on the, the show Axeman I actually actually seen it too they were making uh, uh, um, diesel trucks and making trucks run out of on, on wood so the more they keep trying to limit limit us on our creative ability the better that we get I've seen somebody make a bicycle out of wood you know, in in these struck in these jacked up situations that we live in, they're only bet they're only helping us to better ourselves. What do you think happens? Our um, American dollar is just going down. Just it's just going almost nothing. It's about to become nothing. So what do you think people are going to do? They're going to start bartering and trading. You know, people ha have to survive. People have to strive, and people will always are going to find ways to create a society where it it's in development even when it's being torn down to to nooks and crannies so look at look at look at your resources around you before you start agreeing with everybody oh this is this place is going to shambles look at what's what's the benefit of this what could you do to make this situation better you can start trading trading things you can sell things people will sell things to you for cheaper because of things because of what they feel society is going on so stop looking at it such as a negative way it's just only helping individuals become creative because people are not just going to sit back and watch as their government screws them over and if the government continuously tries to screw them over guess what ends up happening people start revolting people are start are revolting right now probably as we speak against some certain law that's being passed or some situation that's going on. The truth is starting to come out. There's been so many lies on TV. Now now people have to re uh, resort to finding the truth for themselves. You know, there's so many uh, animals that are being slaughtered in these factories and these uh, unhealthy uh, benefits to our health that people are starting now to turn to alternative as vegan and vegetarian and all these different things and I remember talking about it I don't know which one's right but you start looking at the fact that people are changing their diet you have more people exercising you have more people taking off that oh that illusion that wool over their eyes that they want us to believe in you know people are now going to the internet to find their news they're not watching so much of TV finding finding is issues, the more they try to put people down in black neighborhoods, the more you start realizing that they're starting to actually help each other. So the more you try to put the negative stuff out there, the more positive things happen. So, you know, in this society, we need to look at the fact that even with this downfall, we can still grow. Just find a way around it. That's what most people are doing is finding a way around it. Most people are getting very creative in this time versus what was when society was somewhat stable people weren't as creative as um, or entrepreneurial or, or or 
doing things that help create society even better. But in this society, man, we're getting receiving everything. Receiving, should we got things? We have devices and resources cheaper just in one object, a phone. And it's pretty amazing if you use it the right way. Of course, you can use it, man. You can take these phones. We, I, you know, I made, I actually made a music video using a phone. And this is just a phone, you know. It's it's amazing when you had to buy all this equipment for certain things, and we did the best we possibly could with the cheapest resources that we had. So we knew that there was no limitation. You know, there's a lot of videos I've done with the smallest resources that I've have right now. So I know there's no limitation to other things. People, the more you keep trying to lock people in to a basically handcuffs, the more they'll find different ways to unlock them. So. Or the more the more they'll find different ways to uh, um, work with them and around them. So, so I mean that's all I want to say is stay stay positive, keep your mind right. Follow me on OpenThoughts.com. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Um, also go to OpenThoughts.com. That's Open T H O T S dot com. Uh, blog spot as well. I'm posted on there too. You know, follow me. I'm in the process of writing some books. So. I got to do my thing, man, so I'm finding ways around with the situation that I'm in. I'm finding creative ways to deal with it and not dwelling on negativity all the time. So I thank you, and y'all have a good one.